That is a loaded question. <laughs> Um, my mom is one of nine, so I have many, we have a big family, I have many aunts. Um, I will go, this might get me in trouble, I will go with my Aunt Gaga. Um, she passed recently, but she was like the life of the party. Um, she moves to the beat of her own drum, and it's like one of those people, you never know like what they have going on, but somehow they always seem to just like end up on the right side of things. And so, um, I will go with my Aunt Gaga. I had several, so I love all of my aunties, but um, if I could really just reflect on, I would say two for sure. Um, my Aunt Nola, who's my dad's eldest sister, um, always took us in for the summers. And so, and just loved me up until her passing a couple years ago. Um, and then my Aunt Shorty, who is my great aunt, um, a twin on my mom's side. Um, love to see me coming. Her and all her kids love for us to come and visit. Um, would take me from my mom's sisters, uh, my aunts. And I have two last living aunts, my mom's sisters, who I adore tremendously and I reach out and talk to them often. So um, yeah, Linda and Evelyn are just the last two, but they've always been the ones that have looked out, especially since my mom's been gone. So yeah, I've been blessed. I've had a village of aunties. My mom's eldest sister, my auntie Jackie, the nurturer. She was the one who would cook for us, the one who would love on us, the one who would just go outside and play. Like, it felt like there were no rules. Just a fun place to be. Yeah, she was a fun. The, the lover, the baby, I bought you something. You're gonna come by and get it. Um, even the food, her food. The oldest can always throw down, and that auntie is that one. I love it. You know, I feel like my favorite auntie was Aunt B, and it was because she always made me this butter pound cake for my birthday. No matter where in the world I was, it was coming to me on my birthday. My favorite auntie was my Aunt Pam. And I think, and is my Aunt Pam. And that's because just growing up, she always saw us as individuals. You know, always, she always took personalized time. You know, also just, she's just very kind. And one of those people that even if she's chastising you or, you know, the message might not be that palatable, uh, you always walked away still feeling good and not feeling as a child oppressed. That was my Aunt Marianne. Um, and what I loved about her was she was the epitome of mentoring without you feeling like you were being lectured. Um, we would stay up to two, three o'clock in the morning when everybody else had gone to bed. I would tell her all my secrets and she would talk to me about the importance of me being self-reliant and self-sufficient.